Hello, in this second video, I will show how this uh, potential field method works with a dynamic target. In this case, the, the, the code is exactly the same as the previous one, in which we have to reach the, the red flag. But the only difference is that now we have to uh, follow the build uh, character, which will move randomly here in the environment. And this is a character that has been uh, created by Copelisim, and the behavior is not that intelligent, but yeah, it, it avoids obstacles and turns randomly. Okay, so let's play or start the simulation and see how it works, okay? So in this case, uh, this build character is uh, moving uh, in the environment and it's getting close to this corner, okay? So probably will, uh, because of the direction, we'll probably do some weird things here. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if it's if it's able to escape from this trap we have set. Okay, looks like now it will be able to escape. Yeah, okay, that's it. There it is. And now the robot, as you can see, it's just simply following the character. Eventually, it's as you can see here, it's avoiding obstacles. So it's not only following the the, the character but also avoiding obstacles as well okay as you can see okay so thank you very much